global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are looking at Imo State right now. And one of the commonest features of a government that is taken over by opposition government is that the previous government is always haunted. Now, Emeka uh, Hedio has occupied the post of a governor for just eight months in Imo State. And uh, unfortunately, was kicked out of the office by the Supreme Court and the mandate given to Hope Uzodima. And right now, Hope Uzodima is out to hunt Emeka Ihedioha. But this time around, according to the information that we've uh, received, it is on a very legal grounds. And the grounds is that Emeka Ihedioha, for the short period of time that he had been in the office, he has squandered about 20 billion naira, approximately about 19.5. 63 billion but we'll say approximately, approximately yes. yeah it's 20 billion naira and uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, the present government is leaving no stone unturned in ensuring that they recover that huge amount of money owing to the fact that right now there is no money in the economy the auditor general for local government was the one who carried out the audit and then discovered that about 19.63 billion naira was expended on fixtures contracts those contracts were actually issued out but there is no proof that they have been carried out and that is what is currently behind you know the audit that is about to take place and according to the information we've received thus far the interim management committee has promised you know to open up and also to see how they can exonerate themselves from what is happening but right now we are looking out uh, how pushy it's going to look like because the commissioner for Foreign Stroke International Affairs, Fabian Hekweme, is the one who has decided to speak out and he has opened us up to the mind of the government, that's uh, uh, Hobo Zodima's government, that they are doing everything to ensure that they recover the money. The question is, where is the money? According to them, they said it is a Meka that has, um, that, that is meant to give that the answer to that question they said the money has been consumed and it must be recovered now but i'm going to just read the statement which was published in one of the national dailies i'm going to read the statement so that you hear things out for yourself before we now jump into discussion unveiling a lot of things reason why some things have been done all right let's look at a exact word of the minister sorry the commissioner of uh, for foreign stroke international are faced in this present this present government in Imo State. That's Fabian Ihekweme. And according to his what he said, it baffles me how we have degenerated to this pitiable level of playing dumb in our public engagement. It is so shameful that highly educated people still don't understand the impact of the current global economic meltdown that has crippled world economies and brought economic hardship to even the wealthiest nation. Let me also refresh your mind, especially for people who may have started experiencing symptoms of memory loss. You shouldn't have insulted people now, but let's continue. That during the eight months of Right Honorable Emeka Hedio High illegal occupation of Douglas House, the global crude oil price was between $57 to $61 per barrel. You may wish to recall that during the period Imo State Federal Allocation Network was approximately between 5.1 billion Naira to 5.8 billion Naira. And yet, Ihedioha could not even sand fill any pothole in Imo State. It is also important to note that Ihedioha awarded road contracts worth over 57 billion Naira. He mobilized his friends and political associates associate as contractors but turn around to collect the money back from them that's why those contractors could not even move their equipment to the site maybe i need to remind us that the global oil price has fallen to an unbelievable level today one barrel of oil is sold at 11 dollars and i can authoritatively tell you that nigeria has stopped selling and our customers are no longer buying because the cost of production is now higher than the selling price 
every right-thinking man knows that government at all levels are currently receiving little or nothing in terms of federal allocation. It is therefore inconceivable to compare a government that receives over 6 billion naira per month for 8 good months with a government that just got bet betted under the present economic condition. Have you also forgotten that the entire 8 months local government allocation of nearly 20 billion naira was cornered by Hed Yoha and his gang in a broad daylight. Well, this matter is before the appropriate authorities and I can assure you that the governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzodima, will recover every cover from those looting robots. And uh, that's just what he had to, you know, say. And But I think he continued further. He said, God deliberately brought Governor Hope Uzodima to come and fix Imo State, and believe me, this is this governor will correct the ills of the past and will definitely reposition Imo State for prosperity to strive. Governor Hobo Zadima has succeeded in creating a new Imo where everyone is a stakeholder. The greatest achievement of Governor Hobo Zadima is the last three months, apart from the solid foundation he has laid in the area of infrastructural development, in his is his ability to have secured the safety of Imo people and shielded every Imo indigent from the attack of this raging COVID-19 pandemic. Those were the words of uh, the Commissioner for International Affairs, Foreign and International Affairs. And we just want to look at this. The money is quite huge, a whooping sum of uh, uh, 19, 20 billion uh, pro approximately. approximately. Now, I, I just I want us to think free ourselves from the fact that this is a make I hate you huh? and this is Obuzadima and whatever that had happened before now. Let's just be very objective about it. I have a discussion in the house. We're going to be talking about this and let's just try to be very objective about this. Don't forget that when we talk about politician, politician, my, for me, oh, these guys are just the same. And when they have opportunity to get in the one of the things they do is to take care of themselves looking at this amount that has been you know uh, confiscated or not confiscated amount that has been looted according to hobo zodima's government what do you have to say about it uh, for, let me quickly correct one or two impressions he made to start with he did not fraudulently enter that seat he was elected there yes yes so saying fraudulently sitting on the seat is a wrong concept why we play politics let's make then let's not make it party at partisan politics yeah. yeah he was elected duly elected during judiciary process they now probably removed all steam out and put uzodema that's settled okay and there's another one i need to also correct is the fact that oh, there's another uh, you know ob uh, observation i noticed during the time of we do of a truth um the local government never really functioned yeah somehow the elections never held yeah and for that reason, you know, there was a time we carried a, a video where we questioned the fact that the federal government should join the allocation of the state with the local government together, where the governor will be a, a, a signatory to that account. Yeah. What that means is that if the local government have not had the election and it's not functional, it means that the monies allocated for the local government won't get to them. Mm -hmm. It will now probably be used by the state governor. Okay. Which means also, because I could still remember vividly, there was a time even the local government started fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Hope uh, Mekahedo had to intervene by bringing in securities and all that to keep things in check. Of which Hope Uzadima, when he entered, we're being very objective here. Mm -hmm. Of which Hope Uzadima, when he entered, he said that was the first thing he would do. He would transfer what is what is for local government council to them. Okay. Now during this period, definitely because it was not up and running, the money definitely won't get to them. Yeah. Now, let's be practical here. If the uh, uh, people, as in the council, uh, the council uh, in Makahedo has set up during that period to begin to probe um, old Roger Sokorocha, if they, they said they're willing to confess, then that is indicted. Okay. Which means a mecca here don't have a lot to tackle right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. If they say they are willing to confess, which means there is a looting, they have agreed that there is a looting. Exactly. And they are saying exactly. now that whatever it is we took was not much. Maybe it is a mecca here that we're willing to, you know, open up, spill the beans. Okay. Then America should be worried. Okay. And now, now, before you continue, the chairman of the interim management committee of uh, a mecca here, that's a mecca here, 
did say that they, according to what you said, that are in readiness to explain their level of involvement in the alleged misappropriation of the 19.63 billion naira local government funds in the state, which means that they are ready. You know, the local government. What what actually happened is that when um, before the local government chairman will be you know put in place, mm -hmm. there will be an interim management yeah, committee that will keeping, take care yes, of the runnings yeah, of the local government. So those guys are now saying they are willing, according to the information provided, that they are willing to. Open Open up and tell their level of involvement in the looting of the said amount. So the question here is, what 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 do you think? Do you think that in such a short period of time, Emeka Herioha had gone that far to take don't, such a huge amount of money in the name of contract? Don't forget that um, we, we are lo looking at oil price. Yeah, oil price is not favorable in this dispensation. Yeah, I'm I think that's why they are pushing hope her. Uh, yeah. you know, maybe entire hope is the most thinking of entry because of probably what he would likely see. Only for him to come there and see an empty coffer and there's no allocation coming in. Yeah. He needs to scream. It's only normal. Yeah. Now, during the time of a, a Mecca here, it was almost an all-time high. Yeah, yeah. Which means... Monies were not, were not even a No, it wasn't really all time high. But it was, was just, at least it wasn't this bad. It wasn't, it was, no, it wasn't close to this at all. Yeah. Now, which was one of the reasons why even Emeka Hedia was also thinking of getting some oil wells yeah. from rivers so as it can increase, increase the state allocation. Exactly. Okay. But now, as the thing is now, you can't compare what he's getting then and what is happening now. Yeah. So it's only normal. Yes. And I fear the very first time when Emeka Hedia has started his dispensation on the grounds of probing Rogers of yeah. you know, I'm not saying it shouldn't probe, but making it top priority and almost neglecting for almost 100 days, he was really probing Rogers of I only knew that if for any reason something happens, same thing will happen to him. Yeah. And that's almost what is about to take place. Now, if you watch, there was a time uh, Mecca Hedda was supposed to come home and for some reasons, they said there was political uh, tussle between them where they said uh, there's a, where Hope Zodima said that they, he had uh, reliable information that PDP wants to hoist him out and all that and all that. They want to cause un unrest, unrest in the, in the state, state yes. that he won't take it kindly. And the Mecca Hedda had to reply and say, look, I'm only coming home and my people want to welcome me. But my, my welcoming, you welcome me or my people welcoming me if it's going to cause a blush then it's not worth it mm -hmm. i will stay back but let it be known that i am not on exile you know all these things going on i knew there was a background message going at the background so yeah. which means that whether you like it or not i know that mecca here have gotten wings of the fact that maybe they'll start probing him yeah and if this is so I don't know how he's going to cope, but I know it's going to be very hard. Don't forget that when they probed Roger Sokorocha, he had, you know, a, so to speak, a um, favorable relationship with the presidency. Yeah. He, he had, doesn't, doesn't have, have any. Anything. He doesn't, doesn't have, have anything. Any, so <laughs> hey. it, may, it may not be funny. He may not if actually be funny. If he's yeah. found guilty, he may not, it may not be funny. And if he accepts that indeed he, he, he took looted so any amount of money, it still will not be funny. And well, yeah, I believe you. I believe you very well. Now, one of the things that is really troubling here is that he doesn't have any way to run to. Yeah. PDP is almost relegated right to the yeah. background almost. as well in Imo State well, in, and also nationally. nationally yeah, yeah, they don't even have any strength. Don't even have a voice right exactly. Now. So, right now, what is ongoing is I think the only people that would have saved his face would have been if possibly the um, internal, that's the management committee. The interim management committee of the, those local government were ready to, you know, play the cards with him so that they can prevent for our arrest. But based on what we are seeing, it, it therefore means if he cannot provide that money, they may take him to court, and that will be the and end the of the funny part. The funny part, is, the funny part of this whole thing is the fact that there is no money anywhere. Yeah. So even paying salaries, salaries exactly. So the more the people are crying for their salaries, the more the people are saying, "Where are the monies? The allocation John, money?" Exactly. So the more they cry for, like, just imagine federal government workers, state government workers, not having their full salaries with this lockdown. Mm -hmm. Because if if they come to the the, the federal allocation. Allocation will tell you, look, there's no money, money anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, Where do exactly. you want us to get money from? Exactly. Then you know you, you have to begin to look inward. Who are you taxing? These artists that are not working. Where are you going to get money from? Wow. Well, it's a big one. 
at this point let's just leave it it's it's a, a continuing stuff we are hopeful that more information will be coming out from this but to just go to our comment section do you think that truly Mika Yehidio it was involved in the looting of that huge amount of money and do you think that it was a collaboration between him and the interim management